Hello everyone and welcome to Virasa for All. Today we have young and dynamic technical engineer Mr. Yash Kolkrani sir with us. He did his MTech in electrical power engineering from the Maharaja Sajiro University of Baroda and, and he enrolled in Virasa for All for the further RTL and premium verification patch and now he got offer in on semi. I am very happy that our team helped him in many ways to get him placed. Sir, first of all, congratulations to you. Thank you so much, Michelle, for inviting me to this platform, and I'm really grateful to be part of this. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, thank you for doing this. And sir, can can you uh, formally introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah. So, hello everyone. Uh, myself, Yash Goklani. So I've done my bachelor's in electrical engineering from Government Engineering College Surat, and after that I joined. Uh, for my master's, I did my master's from Maharaja Sahaja University, which is in from power system. Okay. Then after a few months of like uh, gap, uh, I decided to move into the VLSI industry. So I joined one of the uh, institute. Along with that, I enrolled for the VLSI for all for interview guidance and uh, all. And after that, I, uh, with the God grace, I got the opportunity into the on-site to work with them. Yeah. Sir, your master is in electrical power and hunt, and how tough is it for you to get into the VSI industry and, and what motivates you to shift the, shift your MTech your, your MTech work to the your the into the core VSI? So I I'll start this with like uh, I always believe that that the thing you love the most you have to go with that. Don't go for what you are good at in. So I was good into the power system and all, but that time I don't have a, that much guidance. So I was in a flow and I decided to join into the power system. Later on, I feel that I have to move into VLSI field. It was not that tough. Uh, it, it's just we need right guidance and uh, the right direction only. So uh, it's not that tough to get into the VLSI. Okay, sir. And in what's in the in the area of VLSI, what motivates you to push you further, like in the front end or the in the back end? Uh, so uh, digital electronics uh, subject uh, most of the time. So uh, I am not sure much about like much, and I found that okay, let's start with the front end. Let's see what we can do into it. So, so I start with the front end and uh, luckily I like that work and I then move further into it. Sir, and uh, and coming to the coming coming into the VLSI for all and what course you join in VLSI for all? So in VLSI for all, I took interview guidance and the premium referral program. Okay. And sir, how is the coursework and, and how the teachers and how much time you give you into to, to this uh, the coursework? Uh, so, see, uh, for the like from VLSA for all, I got uh, uh, PDFs of questions, like there are many questions. So, I used to do that things. Along with that, uh, I got some puzzle videos and uh, uh, some interface videos, sorry, protocols videos. And so, I used to complete all the things day by day, whichever that shared to me through the team okay and uh, uh, yeah that's it and sir and how is the teacher uh, and how the peers group in in in, in this course work like we you always interact with others through the google meet and uh, always interact to, with the yeah. teachers and how is the how is the experience yeah it was like really good like uh, day to day updates we are giving and uh, uh, all interacting with the people with this industry it's a uh, really motivation for me uh, getting day-to-day -day updates and uh, the things that open about the openings about how to uh, go through the uh, flow so this is really helpful actually sir uh, you also mentioned that you take the you take the interview interview guidance also and you also go through the, all the interview mm -hmm. practice before appearing into the final final mm -hmm. interview so how much that interview practice yes, helps sir. you yeah, it's like almost that interview practice uh, helps me to get into the uh, that job. Okay, so most of the time, like uh, when we learn, okay, we know the basics, but uh, how to approach the uh, that questions and how to approach that uh, 
problem this is where we can get it from the practice only okay, okay. so after the after you done with your basics just go go and solve the as many as problem you can do the do as many project you can and that this will like open up your mind and you will perform any how into interview sir what are what are skills uh, what are skills you mentioned in the in your cv and what is your work in in the on semi that you are go, that you are going to do and how much time is it takes yeah. to learn that skill so i mentioned only field which are related to design and uh, very uh, design and verification part so i learned the design and verification from the institute okay so i mentioned digital verilog sta system verilog uvm all those things uh, i mentioned into it and uh, apart from that uh, i mentioned like my projects into the cv okay and it's not that much if you if you are getting good right guidance na so it will not take much time uh, hardly you will i'll say like 6 to 5 to 6 months is enough to <coughs> get uh, acquire all the skills okay. <coughs> i'm sorry yes, uh, so hardly 5 to 6 months is enough uh, to acquire all the skills and then after you can proceed for the interview you can apply for interview anywhere so what would you recommend to uh, an aspiring mtech or btech student who is currently in the ec or electrical and he, and and he or she wants to go into the vlsi sector front end domain then what do you suggest so first of all don't see around the people like uh, they are going and getting good place into vlsi first of all check what you want to do uh, i'm not saying just go to vlsi this is good just first of all you go uh, check inside your your whatever you want to do you are if you are good in something else if you are good in analog just go for back end if you are good in digital just try to be in front end if you are good in embedded just go there are so many opportunities out there so my first like advice is to ex- uh, explore more and more you have time explore as many things as you can okay after that decide the thing what you want uh, what you want to do then approach for the guidance only okay once you get a good guidance you uh, in short uh, span short span of time you will uh, get whatever you want okay and then you, you must be like consistent for what you are doing so you have to do consistently that work sir can you summarize summarize uh, the, how the panel of the vlsi and and how rajas sir helps you in getting the the job of the at on semi yeah uh, so starting with like i all for the interview guidance and uh, uh, the job referral program okay so one problem was i facing during the during those day was to spend too much time on linkedin to check whether there is op- opening or not okay so rajit sir helped me to uh, filter those things and he is like sending me those uh, job updates daily like whenever there is a job update he'll post into the group or personally share to me so in that way it helps me to save my time and that time i use utilize to the whatever i am doing into it apart from that uh, i got so many question pdfs okay so that pdfs all help me a lot so and uh, that uh, sta part yeah one one of the best thing like uh, rajat sir push me to do sta and cdc a lot so i focus like i spare a lot of time to do sta and cdc part and uh, uh, point is in uh, on semi they they are more focused on cdc sorry in sta part so i i say that like, that will help me a lot to get into the on semi sir we are uh, we are in the end of this interview and before wrapping up the, the interview could you give us some motivation yeah. to our viewers so that after watching this they feel yeah. more motivated to work so first thing i always say like do the thing you love don't go whatever uh, like you are good at in and second thing uh, just be consistent consistency only like uh, your consistency will take you to top of the uh, whatever whenever or whatever you want you will get into that position and yeah i had that that myth like uh, a person from the local college will not get into the any product company and that myth uh, i get i got burst like from myself you to burst a bubble of out yeah. of myself thank you sir uh, like the last year when last year uh, well while i deciding this i was not sure that i'll get a product company but uh, one thing i was sure like i want to do this and uh, i will be more consistent to finish this thing okay but uh, later on that helped me that everything helped me and uh, i got my like one of my dream job i, I can say that okay
thank you sir and that's a very good motivation to our viewers because everything everything everyone thinks that the the tire of the college tire one tire two is the is the is a barrier yeah. for, barrier to get into service yeah it's not going to be barrier for anyone like your skill matters a lot yes. for this industry i am damn sure your skills is the only key you will get into it you don't have to be like uh, you don't have need that tag you can uh, it's bit difficult but anyhow if you are good you will get it into it even those even that this recession is going but still they are hiring and still from a person from tier 3 college get into the good in uh, product based company so that's a very there good. are like that's a very lot nice of possibilities program. that's a very nice yeah. motivation sir thank you for doing this sir thank mm -hmm. you yeah thank you michelle for inviting me